what is going on guys welcome back to another photo peak tutorial this one is going to be my part two of the roblox game icon this one's super easy to make and looks super cool all the resources will be down in the description below so without further ado let's get started All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to photop.com and it should look like this. Go ahead and click on new project right here. And for the width, we're going to go with a thousand. For the height, we're going to go with a thousand as well. Name it whatever you'd like and click on create. So now you should see this blank white canvas and now we're ready to start on our background layer. So what I'm thinking we do is we should make a sunburst layer, which will look like sun rays. It looks really cool. You guys will see in just a second. But first, let's make a new layer. So go down here to the bottom right and click on that new layer button. Now what you want to do is grab your gradient tool over here on the left side of your screen. If you can't see it, it might be hidden within one of these tools. So you can right click until you find the one that has the gradient tool. Click on that. Now hold left click anywhere at the top of your canvas and hold shift while you drag it all the way down. Now you can just let go. Now yours is going to be black and white like this and I'll show you guys how to change the color in just a minute. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to filter, distort, and wave. Feel free to copy my settings or you can tweak it to your liking. But for the number of generators, I'm going to go with one. For the minimum length, I'm going to go with one as well. For max length, I'm going to go with 122. For these, I'm going to go with just 999. Change the type to square. And for the undefined area, I'm going to go with repeat edge pixels. So now it should look like this. And like I said before, feel free to tweak it. I click on OK. Now we're ready to make it a sunburst. So go up to filter, distort, and polar coordinates. Now it should be ready. Click OK. Next thing we're going to do is change the background color. So go down to the bottom right of your screen you'll see this little half circle here. Click on that and click on hue and saturation. Now click this colorize button so you can make black and white colored. And you're going to want to mess with the hue and saturation. So first off with the hue, find the color you want. I want green because it's about money. Now you can turn the saturation up or down. It's up to you. I'm going to go with a color that looks like this. You can also change the lightness so that it covers more of the black. Now, once you're done with all this, go ahead and click that button again to close it out. And now we're ready for our text. So go ahead and click on the text tool on the left side of your screen right here. For the font, I'm going to be using this one right here. I think it's called like Molot or something like that. It just looks really good. So I'm going to go with that. Go up here and change it to center alignment. And now click anywhere on your canvas and type in your text. So I'm going to type in money because I'm going to call it money makers. I'm not sure why, but I just think it sounds good. Type it in. It might be really small. You can hold control and click a to select all the text and you can go up here to the size and either drag the size right or left, or you can use this slider here, or you can type it in manually. Another way to do it is if you hit control alt and T, you can use these boxes to drag it to make it bigger and smaller. I'm going to drag it to about here and drag it to the center of my screen like this. Click confirm. Now I'm going to double click on that text to select all of it. And I'm going to change the color of it to white. Click that confirm button. For now, what I'm going to do to make it easier to see the text is I'm going to hide this layer and I'm going to double click on that background layer. Go to color overlay and just turn it to black just so it's easier to see or whatever color. Click OK. Now we can see our text and we're ready to start working on it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my text layer right here. I'm going to go over here to the left to the rectangle tool. Up here, make sure your fill is black. Make sure you have no strokes. So make sure it's this one right here and go ahead and hold left click and drag and make a rectangle that looks like this. Make it long and skinny. Once you're done, let go. Now you can hit control alt and T to a free transform it. Now you can drag the boxes and make it bigger, smaller. Or if you hover outside of it, you can hold left click and turn it. I'm going to give it a bit of an angle like this and put it right here. I'm going to click on my move tool now. So hit control and J to duplicate it and hold left click and just move that one over and repeat that. 
Control J, move. Control J, move. Control J, move. Until you're happy with it. So now it's going to look really weird. That's okay. We'll fix it. So now what you want to do is go to the right side of your screen where all your layers are. Click on that top shape layer. Hold shift and click on that bottom shape layer. So now they're all selected. Right click. Convert it to a smart object. So now it's one whole layer. Right click on that layer again and click on clipping mask. This will apply it to only the layer below it. So you can see here, it's only on the money text. So now what you can do is you can go up here to opacity and turn it down, right? So just like that, looks really nice. Okay, now we are done with this text. Now let's go ahead and start on our other text. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to hold control and click on the money text layer and the shape layer. Right click and convert them to a smart object. Double click on it. Go to inner glow right here. Change this color to white. Change the blend mode to color dodge. And now you can adjust the spread and size. And the opacity just to give it a little bit of an inner glow. You can see the difference. It just makes it look nicer. You can copy my settings if you'd like. By the way, this is white. I'm not sure why it's showing up as gray, but it is white. I hit OK. I figured out why it was showing up as gray. That's because one of my extensions that makes the websites dark was messing with it. So now that's fixed. Now we're going to start on our next text layer. So go ahead and click on your text tool again. Click anywhere on your canvas and type in your next set of words. Mine's just going to be maker. Click that check mark and I'm going to move it right here. Now what you want to do is double click on your text to select all of it. Go up here to warp. And you'll see there's a style button right here. Click on that and change it to shell upper or sorry, shell lower actually. And just change the bend to whatever you'd like. I'm going to change it to about 20% and hit OK. Now I'm going to change this by double clicking on it and going up here to the color box. I'm going to change it to a greenish color like right here. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with these lines right here, but I'm gonna do a line straight through it. So we're gonna go to the pen tool this time. Make sure your fill is black. Make sure this is shape and make sure there's no stroke. I'm gonna click on the left of the text and then go to the right of the text, hold left click and drag your mouse. And just go around it now. It doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as it's going through it. Now you can right click on it and make it a clipping mask. Now, if you aren't seeing the clipping mask on your text, it might be because you have a color overlay or a gradient overlay enabled. If you do, right click on that and convert it to a smart object first, and then you can try it. But since we changed the color up here, it won't count. So I know a lot of people had that problem last time. Hopefully that fixes it. Now go to that shape you just made and turn the opacity down on it again. Okay. Now hold control, click both of them again, right click, convert to a smart object. Double click on that layer and go to inner glow. And it should apply the same glow that was on the last one, which is what we want. Now you can hit okay. And now we can reapply our background layer. Hold control and click on both of these shape layers. It should be both your text layers. Right click and convert them to a smart object. So now your layer, so now your text layer is one whole layer. Double click on that shape layer, go to stroke, make sure the color is black and just turn the size up to whatever looks good to you. Right, so this could look good. This looks good. I think I'm gonna just go with 18. Might adjust that later. Okay, now we can just hit OK. And now it's kind of missing something. Uh, so I figured it needs some clip art. So in the description, you'll see there's a link to this right here, which is a clip art of some cash. So we're going to download that. Mind you, the license is personal use. So keep that in mind. Go back to your photo P. 
go up to downloads and drag that file in. Now you see we have our cache here. Now what I'm going to do is drag that layer below the shape layer. And I'm going to hit control, alt and T so we can move it around, scale it up, scale it down. I'm going to scale it down a bit, move it like right here where it's at the top left ish of the text. Then I'm going to hit control J and move that other one to the bottom right of it. Right. Okay. So now we're going to alter the cache a little bit. So what you want to do is hold control, click on both of those cache layers, right click and convert to smart object. So now they're one whole layer, double click on that cache layer, go to inner glow. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal and I'm going to change the color to black. Adjust the spread and size just so it gives it some shadow on the inside. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little bit more green. So make sure your cache is selected. Go up to image adjustments, hue and saturation. Now we can turn the saturation up a bit more. You can turn the lightness down. Adjust the hue a little bit more like that. Hit OK. So now we are almost done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a big white spotlight at the top of the screen so go ahead and zoom out with your zoom tool by clicking on the zoom tool holding left click and dragging out click on your top layer up here go down here to the bottom right to the new layer button and click on that now go to your brush tool on the left side of your screen and you can just copy my settings i'll show you in a second these are my settings up here one 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 Pixel size, hardness 14%. Now I'm going to change this top box right here to white. And I'm going to move my mouse above the screen a little bit and then click. And you might want to adjust it. Okay. Kind of preference. I like that. And then I'm going to change the color down here to green. And click at the bottom. You can turn the opacity down here. Change the blend mode if you want to something else. Make it see with and without it. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some curves. So go down to the bottom right of your screen. Click on that half circle and go up to curves. Hold left click on this intersection here and move it up a little bit and move this one down. So you'll see. Made it look a little bit nicer. Now we're going to export this to so go up to file, export as, and you can choose either PNG or JPEG. PNG files are smaller, but they're worse quality. JPEGs are bigger, but better quality. So I'm gonna go with JPEG for better quality. Make sure your quality is 100% and click on save. Now you can see what it looks like blown up on a big screen and it looks really good. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, check out my channel. I would appreciate it if you guys subscribed, liked, commented, all that. And that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.